show, the NAM show, and this is uh, some really interesting species of guitars. This one's a tough toy flipping birdfish guitar. And looks like it got a, a Ritter, Jens Ritter, very brilliant builder. This, I'm not sure what this cappuccino machine of a thing with a couple of uh, reeds on it. A little tiny, tiny little Telecaster ukulele. And this is the actual original of the instrument you just saw a second ago. This was the original uh, one that was, I guess, the, called the Starboard. And we have an Oud here. We've got a wonderful baritone uke, it looks like. Cajun accordion. Auto harp. Small Ashiko tuna. Josh Mashiko Kashi. Some very exotic uh, purple heart and maple on this uh, drum. This one's interesting. It looks like it's a Cantel uh, 2011. And we got a liar. Lots of liars. 2011. And this is some sort of a Bob Thornburg Sierra View acoustic music banjo. Fretless nylon strings. And a gourd banjo, which I believe are actual original types. This is a very wonderful guitar by a uh, harp guitar by Kathy Winger, who I uh, had the pleasure of meeting earlier, and wonderful California-based builder. A Hurdy Gurdy by Callie Hackman, Olympic Musical Instruments. Mountain Dulcimer, circa 1850. And we have a couple of more of these um, dulcimers. One by Howard Rugg from 1979, 78 on the one right. The and we have the Rivenus, the David Rivenus uh, Pellegrina Pomposa, which is, um, I believe it's like a viola pomposa, asymmetrical body, and the, uh, it has some interesting offsets on it. Um, this is a Car Douglas Martin, I think it's one of these. Um, Sort of uh, prototypish, proving to the world that balsa wood is interesting for building. And let's see, we've got a fairly traditional violin. And oh my goodness, what is this? It is a guitar file by some wacky dude out in Silmar, California, named Jonathan Wilson. And uh, was out there playing it a little bit earlier. Let's see, we have a guitar on, and that's by Tomas Gal Delgado at, uh, oh, Candelas, yes. It's a Candelas, very beautiful. And let's see, we've got a, another Kathy Wingert. This one is a Model F, built in 2011, and um, looks like a sinker or a redwood top, that's my guess. Over here, we've got a Harry Fleischmann bass. Boy, I'd like to play that. It's kind of cool. Rick Turner's. Um, what is this? Uh, it's one of his renaissances. Yes. And it looks like we have a kit guitar by LMI, one of our wood suppliers. <laughs> and over here on the bench, we have the four-day ukulele build by Rick Turner. And Rick uh, teaches uh, some stuff up in uh, Santa Cruz or up in one of those places. A uh, little mini course on building, which is pretty cool, especially since he's a very busy, uh, respected builder. And we've got wood chips on the floor. Make sure to take note that there are wood chips. There's an actual wood carving taking place here in the NAM show. And a uh, nice bender with a blanket. It looks like we have a. <laughs> ukulele in progress, the sides are bent. It's a pineapple shape, which is the simplest uh, type to build. 
looks like he's got some Purple Heart here. Not that far from Paul Austin. Yeah, look at this. we got the Fretboard Journal, and I bet there's a wonderful article in there. It's always great articles in this magazine. I actually was in here once, believe it or not. This is Rick Turner's. This is the one he built for Lindsey Buckingham, or the first ones. So, uh, yes, I'm in good company here, folks. I'm really in good company. Legalize guitar making. Amend the Lacey Act. Do it now. Douchebags. Okay, we've got a go bar. This is how the braces get with it. Anyway, it's been a good day. It's another day at the NAMM show. Lots of cool stuff going on. See over here, we've got these guys all chatted up there. Anyway, Jonathan Wilson, until next time, take care. Have fun.